Yeah, look at that. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Don't hit off yet. Okay. Tell then talk. Tell them how I lost. She just pulled it out. She showed her daddy and it laid flat and she just pulled it out. Daddy told me to. Daddy told you to? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And um all the straps and stuff were already undone. Yep. It was ready to come out, huh? Ah! Again? Um I gather but play with me. You love me but play with you? Uh-huh. What if I but baby I'm I'm watching Sissy Color right now. But I'm scared. You're scared of what? God. Of your own dinosaurs? I'm scared of ghosts and jumpy. Well, you're playing right next to me. Um, we're going to Grandma and Papa's. <laughs> we're going to Grandma and Papa's? Uh -huh. and, and we have dinosaurs, but we, but we forgot dinosaur eggs. Oh, we forgot the dinosaur eggs, but we brought your dinosaurs? Oh, okay. He's going to do a Grand Grandma Papa's. It's just, it's just uh, beautiful and now we're going to go out to the beach and go in the water. Welcome to the channel. We are here today. We're going to look at some new cars for me. We were supposed to go to TX2K, but it was raining. And by the time we got up, uh, pretty early, but it was pouring rain. We looked at the track schedule. They were trying to dry it out and super cloudy all day. I don't really trust that they're going to be able to get very many runs in today. So we're going to go tomorrow instead. So we decided that, as you saw, I already dropped the kids off. So we're gonna go look at cars for me. You saw in my previous video, I want to find a cooler mommy car. So we're gonna look at the baseline, not the baseline Honda Pilot, but like the Elite, which is the exact same thing as what I have now, but it's the new edition. We're also gonna look at the Honda Odyssey, which I'm against minivans, just on the pure principle of them, but the new Pilot looks like a minivan. So we'll we'll see how they look, what I like about them, and I think we're gonna go try to check out a few other cars, depending on if the rain holds off. I don't really wanna look at cars in the rain. So we're gonna check it out. The, oh, the, the new Accord. Maybe check out the new Accord. Maybe it'll be like amazing. Hi, Hi. we wanted to check out a- uh, um, New Accord? Uh, no, no, no. We're, maybe, but um, the Odyssey, uh, Odyssey uh, the Odyssey Elite and the Pilot Elite, all, all, right. will, all will drive on all the right. Pilot. Let me get a new car salesman for you guys. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh. Is it locked? Yeah, just kind of checking it out. It looks nice. It does. I don't know about the manual controls. Alright, well, let's check it out here. I don't know about manually having to move my seat. I'm just oh. spoiled. Look, she's complaining about having to manually move her seat. I am. What a, what a travesty. <laughs> it's your fault. I've been spoiled. Oh my god. It does feel amazing. Oh wow. $10,000? $46,000? Okay, I could. I feel like I could get something that fits more what I want. Oh yeah, for $46,000? This is ridiculous. It does feel cool though, I have to agree. Alright, yeah. This is nice. And it does feel good. But... Well. The. What is this? The Type R Civic? Yeah, the Type R. Type R. It's nice. I really like the. Oh my god. Alternating colors. I think it's too small for him. I think this might be too small to fit to do yes, my day-to-day -day driving because, you know, I need a huge car for two kids. But I'm getting over that. This is a manual. I just, I don't think we're going to do a manual. If they made a uh, one of these with a dual clutch, it would be really an awesome car. Doing the um, sitting behind myself test. And I don't think the lighting is all that great in here, but I got like no room. Like me sitting by myself, like, yeah, as long as it were just going somewhere really close, it wouldn't be that bad. But I do have to say this car is really nice. Like the, the quality on it just feels really good. Like, I don't think this is a $46,000 car, but first time sitting in a, a new Type R, but for 35,000, 36,000, I don't think it's as bad as I felt like it was. I mean, for a performance value, it's not quite there. As like a day-to-day -day car, you got Honda reliability. I'm sure it's really easy to drive, great visibility, great safety. Um, as an alternative to the bigger cars, it might not be too bad. I mean, you can get like a scat pack for almost this price that will outperform it in all at least acceleration and everything else, this would be better. Not being big though. So something cool I just saw. I don't know why, but I like this. It has like the specific thing on it and then it has a little 
tubby hideaway under there. I like to store stuff in my car. <laughs> So that would be great to store stuff. It does, it feels good. The seats are really bolstered. They're holding me in super tight. I don't know if you guys can hear. So here's the pilot we're gonna check out. It's an elite. So how do you like it now? I like it. It's got good power it stops better than mine it feels good it's weird because it feels really similar in a way but really different, different in a way yes like very i similar, kind of feel different. like we're in your car but it's we're like a, just like a newer <laughs> version of your car yes it is a lot nicer i'll say that it does it has a lot of nicer features on it it feels new or so like the, the the quality of the materials are better than they were yeah it is they've done They've done quite a bit. My seat's higher too, so I can see better. You could raise your other one. Well, Is I've it never up done it. Oh. I, I didn't know I could. This. Why is there so much traffic? So I just finished driving the new Pilot I wasn't overly impressed by it. It it's similar to my car. It has it has upgrades. It felt nice, but not for fifty thousand dollars. It's not that different from my car. The adaptive cruise control didn't work the way I expected it to. Nothing really felt intuitive. And apparently, this Odyssey is open. Let's check it out. It's all the way back. I'm not impressed. Oh, you're kind of crushed there. Yeah, like my legs hit. It does have like a bench though in the back, which was what I did not like about the Pilot. The kids like to sit next to each other and I'm not crazy about having captain's chairs. So yeah, I mean, it does that kind of stuff. That is nice. It can just release. When we were kids, we couldn't have dreamed of a, a van open, no. doors opening by themselves. That's insanity. No. Lots of like, I don't know, just little nooks and crannies, which mm -hmm. could be good or it could be bad. Blu-ray. Hey, look, this, this, uh, it's like what the pilot had, but yeah. upright, which this I like. This looks kind of like the one in the Huracan and the Aventador. So this is basically a Huracan. I like this better. I actually like this better. Let me look on the back. I don't want to like this. I don't want to like it, but I do. I told you the, the um, Odyssey was awesome. It's way better than the pilot. It's not an SUV, but it like, it's so practical. It is like that backseat storage is ridiculous even with the third row up yeah even with the third row up you have i mean your room ha yours has more room with the third row down obviously and this isn't a suburban but right. it has a lot more room like yours with the third row up i didn't want to say it but it is nice i like the position of this better than in the pilot where it was well, low yeah that's why i wanted want you to I be like able to this. see it with it all on and running one screen and it's got the little camera Ooh. back here for the damn Honda vac. You gotta be kidding me. It's awesome. Vacuum. The vacuum is exciting. See how your legs smell back there? Still going. Okay, that's apparently as far as I go. Oh, he's got the... I still have room back here. I, it good. reclines really well, though. Look at that. It shows, like... Oh, that's cool. The distance to the location. So when the kids are in the back complaining and stuff, they want to know how far we got. It shows them. That's pretty awesome. And there's our oh, troublemaker. Uh -oh. Let's see what you have in your hand. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. It's, it's just a camera. <laughs> we're at the Dodge dealership now. We're going to check out a Durango SRT. The Pilot and Odyssey were good. I need to see some different options. I was just talking to David and half of me loves my pilot i love everything about it there's not much i would change but then when i drive his charger or sit in it i want something like that so i want something that combines them apparently the durango srt will do that it is rather high on the the price spectrum though so we'll have to see what i think about it what i feel but i go back and forth i can't decide what i want if i want something very similar to my pilot if i want something very different I don't know what I want, which is probably going to end up being frustrating for David because I don't know. So I can't really say, let's look at these or this is what I want. We have to look and see what I like, find a car for me based on that. So I can't wait to see the Durango and see what I think. We got a Hellcat here. Okay. 
hop in the Hellcat, see how you like it. Hellcat. Only if I get both keys. No, if she gets a Hellcat, she does not get the red key. She will we crash don't it. get a Hellcat. It's nice. I like the red gauges. I notice little color accessory things that I like. It feels like your car. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it feels like your car. Exactly, that's what I was just saying. It feels just like mine, like there's no... This one's 76,000. I need this color. You like this color more? I like this color. Yeah, and these seats. Check this one out. This actually at least has different seats. Oh! Yeah. These feel good. <laughs> like, I like the way the leather feels. I don't know that I like the color of the leather. The reddish color? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of to me looks like a an old person color car. Oh, like something you'd see in some old Buick or something? Yes, thank <laughs> you. Okay, so we couldn't find the SRT, so we're checking out the RT. Yeah. Smells nice. Yeah, I can get it all moved out. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. no, 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 that's fine. So the Dodge Show ship was a little bit of a bust. We got to look at the Durango RT, not the SRT. I don't know if they misunderstood what we asked for. They didn't have an SRT. I didn't feel like it was that, that impressive over the Pilot or the Odyssey. The point of the SRT was that it was gonna be quick. And I guess the RT is quicker. It's not the SRT and that's really what we wanted to check out. So it's kind of a bust, but it was cool. I got to sit in some Hellcats. They have a lot of Hellcats here. I think there was four in the showroom and two outside. Lots of Hellcat. Some of the seats I didn't like. It was cool to sit in the Hellcat, but it felt very similar to sitting in David's Charger. Okay, we're here at the Infinity dealership. I'm hopeful that there's gonna be something here that we really like. We're looking at the Q50. Q50 red? Or just yeah, Q50? red sport. Red Sport Q50. Driving into the parking lot, it instantly felt different. Like we pulled in and I said, wow, this parking lot feels nice because it's a nicer brand. It's infinity it's just a nicer brand of cars so i'm hopeful optimistic we'll we'll have to see what we find i i feel like we haven't really gotten that much from our day i did get to see the pilot i do like the odyssey but it's not really what i what i want or what i feel like would make it worth getting rid of my pilot i don't know i'm really having a hard time i'm struggling with myself here so we'll have to see what what i think of the q50 it's always nice when you go to one of these high-end dealerships everything's so much nicer No, I think this is a Q60. These are beautiful. <laughs> we're just, uh, we're making a vlog. We're looking at cars for her and the Q50 Red Sport. I don't know if this is a Red Sport, but that's what we want. This is a Red Sport. So this is exactly. Q50 Red Sport? Yeah. We want a Red Sport all-wheel drive. It doesn't matter if this one is, but. Well, come sit in the driving seat, driver's seat. Oh, yes, it's for me. <laughs> Trying to find a car that's a little cooler and more sporty. Do we have the sticker for this one? Um, just curious on the pricing. I'll tell you what it is. I don't know what they. It feels good. The first thing I saw when I sat down was, dang it. I like this car. <laughs> so get the seat adjusted where you like yeah, it. Kind of, I think I think I kind of already did. Like I got myself on my pedals. It takes a little bit of time to figure out perfect, but I'm. This feels sportier. It feels nice. I wonder. Um, let me do the sit behind myself challenge. Yeah. Like here, I got I got a lot more leg room than I really need. Yeah, like, you could probably move that up a little bit. Like but I'm, it looks like. Oh, looking real tight. Not that I ever will need to sit behind myself, but it doesn't need to be reclined as much as it is. It is pretty reclined. I recline the hell out of it, yeah. So this is it. This is a Q, Q50 Red Sport, 400, 400 horsepower. And um, this one's all-wheel drive, so this is exactly like I would want it. All right. Oh, thank you. You got a copy of it. I'll leave this one. Okay, thank you. It feels so nice. It does. Okay, so we're looking at a sticker of 57,000. 57? 
So that means it probably doesn't have something like it probably doesn't have the adaptive cruise. This has a sensor package, advanced climate control. I don't see adaptive cruise. I'm looking predictive forward collision warning, forward emergency braking, but I don't think it has the. Look at the steering wheel. See if it has adaptive cruise markings on the. No. Or the. And it looks like you have a couple blanks, maybe. Yeah, like right here. I bet that's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay, but it feels really nice though, doesn't it? It feels really nice. It does feel small. I will say that it feels smaller than the Charger, which I'm pretty sure it is smaller than, smaller than the Charger. But this one has like a much wider array of, of features than the, than the Charger does. And it's just a totally different car. God, it is quiet in here. You're right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not just that we're in a quiet environment. It is. And it's got Yeah, like, this just says cruise control with steering wheel switches. Yeah. Not adaptive. All right, well, let's see. Pop the hood. There it is, the twin turbo V6. All wheel drive. It's like a mini GTR, except no dual clutch and a million other things that are different. All right, well, let's see if there's one that we can uh, take a look at outside. Okay. I read the wrong thing, it doesn't have it. The red one up front has it. Yes, we saw it on the red So side. this one is the one that I was saying how it comes standard. Right. The only things they added was like the all weather package, cargo package, the, oh, okay. the accent lighting and all that stuff, and premium okay. paint. So when you look inside. This is like a base model essentially. Well, it's the entry level, so it has the blind spot warning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so it's not exactly base. If you get this car base. Yeah, I know, yeah, it's yeah. an infinity, so yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, none of this stuff comes <laughs> yeah, on this car base. I know. You know? It go tell you exactly what's on there. Okay, so forward collision warning okay. system, blind spot warning. A round view. Well, yeah, it's gonna have a round view, but it has. See, so it oh, has okay. a backup collision yeah. intervention as well. Awesome. So that's typically a package that you have to get as a pro assist or something like that. So you end up getting more on there than just because of the red sport package. Because of the red sport package okay. and the bigger wheels, the 400 horsepower. I'm telling you, how many power? How much horsepower are you got in? <laughs> that's like 730. 730. This car actually probably can still keep up with it. I'm just telling you, man. It's I don't fast. know. That, that car's a that car's a beast. Yeah. No, is it a, is it a Hellcat? No, it's a it's a 392 with a Pro Charger on it. Oh, you got the Pro Charger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh. it's a, yeah. but we like fast cars, and that's. Then of course. There you go. I couldn't find the unlock button. Listen to it, though. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, it needs exhaust and stuff to really. It sounds sound good. nice though. Would you see sure. driving something like this instead of a pilot? Pilot. Yes. <laughs> I know. A pilot now. And then I drive his car and I'm like, ugh. I miss having a cool car, but I need practical I need practical. So how old are kids? Five and three. Okay, so we just got finished checking out the Red Sport. I gotta say I really like it. I think it's pretty awesome. What do you think of it? I like it. I don't want to like it. I didn't think I was going to. Just finished looking at the Infinity Q50 Red Sport. Did I say that right? Yeah. Got it. I like it. I like it a lot. I was really thinking I wouldn't like it. I didn't want to like it, but I felt really cool just sitting in it. I like the way it sounds. Overall, I really liked the car. I like the way it looks. I like everything about it. So I, at the moment, it's my favorite. We still have to look at the Durango SRT, which hopefully we can do soon. And I need to test drive the Infiniti. But at the moment, it's it's a front runner for me. I really, really enjoy it. What do you think? We looked at the Odyssey and the Pilot, the Q50 Red Sport, and we saw a Durango, not the SRT. What do you think about those? Which one do you think is the best for a cool mom car that I can drive around? It's still practical. The kids can get in and out of. What are your thoughts? Is there anything we missed that that we should have looked at. So I can't wait to hear what everyone says. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe below and have a great day.